somatic cells in milk. Cows are exposed to mastitis-causing bacteria daily in their environment or in the milking parlor. If given the chance, these germs enter through the teat end and multiply as they travel through the mammary gland, potentially establishing an infection. Leukocytes, or white blood cells, are continually circulating through the udder. When the immune system detects harmful bacteria in the mammary gland, it sends more leukocytes to travel to the site of the infection. This is how the cow's immune system responds to help in fighting the bacteria. As more cells fight the germs, the cells start to engulf them. Once engulfed, the leukocytes work to destroy the bacteria. Once the leukocytes destroy the bacteria, they die and become a somatic cell, which gets shed through the milking process. A sample of milk can be taken from the cow's udder or bulk tank to determine the number of somatic cells in the milk. The number of somatic cells is determined by viewing the sample under a microscope or electronic device. The somatic cell count is the main indicator of milk quality. If the cow is fighting a mastitis infection, the number of somatic cells present will be higher. As the number increases, the quality of the milk decreases. Maximizing hygiene and following proper milking procedures will help with the overall goal of minimizing bacteria that enter the udder and controlling the growth of bacteria in the udder.